So, I um, I have basically two wires I want to make now. I did a bunch of prep work today. Um, basically, a bunch of micro captains back there on the wall. You can't really see. you could see it faintly. It's kind of looped right next to the picture. There's a loop. There's a nine foot micro clapton that is 3644 and then i have another micro clapton here that's about five foot and eh, four foot four foot that is 0.2 ribbon and 46 and then i have another one there that's 36 and 42 that's four feet and then I have another four footer that's 38 and 44. And I'm going to make two wires and just go from there. I know what I want to make. I also made this because I wanted to practice my stitched alien before I did this video. Because I think we're going to do, we are going to do some kind of micro clapped and stitched alien. So I did this just regular stitched alien mohawk today also one sec so that's 3640 stitched mohawk alien try and get a better so I have that around it's fairly long it's about 12 inch or something it's all nice and clean besides the end down here where I stopped. I got that. And then this, I'm about to make another one of these. All right. And this is, hold on a second. This is another kind of micro Clapton Clapton, but we're going to do something. We're going to do something. Hold on. So this is that stitch daily and again I have. And here comes the screen. Great. Oh my god, YouTube, you're freaking killing me. You really are. You're just absolutely murdering me right now. I don't know what to do. Killing me. Oh 
One sec, I'm trying to see what I'm doing right now in my live here. I think you might see it now. this one which I'm gonna make another one of these like now like right now oh my god I can't believe I'm still having these freaking screen problems whatever what that is Well, so what this is, is this is 38 and 44, 38 and 44, come on buddy, you can do it. This is is just a pain in the ass. I can't believe this shit. It's really starting to piss me off. Anyway, you know, it's good. Is it good now? working now one sec it is working oh, this one's different that's right this is 38 with 44 on the outside stay still 38 with 44 on the outside. Wow, I'm a shaky fucker. With 36, wow, with 36 parallel. So I'm going to make another one of these and we're going to do a twisted build with that. Now, um, I did go to my local vape shop today and I got a couple things that are pretty interesting. I got. A new pod device and this pod device is a little more expensive than most pod devices it may I mean I can't imagine that there's many more pod devices that are more expensive than it um, but I've been wanting one of these for a while every time I try somebody else's I like it quite a bit and a DNA pod device are you kidding me so I got this guy right here. This is the Orion Lost Vape DNA thingy. All right. It's a pod device, and they had these new these new mesh coils for it. Bones the Skater, I got your payment. Thank you, buddy, for the shipping. So I got these mesh coils in this Orion Lost Vape. And I got like 28 milligram sad boy um, key lime. And the flavor on it's very, there's very good flavor on this. And this juice is pretty freaking strong in flavor. I'm wondering if I'm even going to like it after tonight. But sad boy, 
is a company in Philadelphia. Um, they make good juice. This one I used to like a lot. Dripping. Not sure if I'm liking it so much. It's good. I like salt nicks to have a little bit of a bite, you know, like either menthol or whatever. This is very key lime-ish. It's a key lime cookie. But I don't, I'm getting sick of pod devices that I always have to either throw out or they get beat up. I wanted a good one that's going to last a long time that has more features on it. So I figure get get it you know so it's been out for a while but i think i may still do a video or whatever I'm not sure so i got that and then i got something that's pretty interesting um because i want to try it. i want to see what it's all about because it, it is competition but um i bought these things I bought disposable tanks. So remember we were talking about these? I want to see what it's all about. So I seen Batman did a review on these. And I wanted to try them out. So one of these days I'll have to fill one of these up and um, and try it out. And I'll, I'll do a little video on it just telling you what I think. Um, I do think there there is a place on there, which is something that Batman said. I do think there is a place for these. But what is already confusing to me is that it's mesh, but it's candle. And I don't understand that. But whatever, man. You know? So, boom. I got it at my local vape shop. The clear pods at my local vape shop, they're the new mesh ones. I, I guess they're all clear. I don't know. But, yeah, these are the mesh the mesh ones. I guess the mesh ones are clear. I don't know. It's vaping really good, though. I really like it. It's definitely powerful. I might want to put the setting down a little bit, but you could put that on your computer, change the settings, the color and everything like that. But that is that. Um, okay. So first I'm going to do this twisted build. What I want to do is I want to do, I want to do um, a, heel, a double helix. Double helix with a bunch of micro claptons. And that's what I want to make. So, I already got the micro claptons done. That ain't no thing. So, what I did with this wire here, which is the, I'm making this exact wire again. Only the micro claptons are all done. All the micro claptons I need for this video are all done. I don't need any more right now. So I'm making this wire. And then I'm going to twist both of them together. This is about 9 inch. Maybe 10. I'm going to twist both of them together. Then I'm going to use another micro clapton to helix it. And then I'm going to use regular wire wire to helix the first helix. So I'm going to show you what I did with this Clapton. Now, I got 28 gauge stainless steel. This is all stainless steel. Everything's stainless steel. So I got this 28 gauge stainless steel. And I'm going to get out the same amount that this is basically i did everything the same so i'm going to just take my 28 give it a stretch to make it straight and then i'm going to cut it a little bigger than what this is here all right 
And then I'm going to get it onto my drill and onto my swivel, which I'm going to move my swivel over now. So there's no, whatchamacallit. So we're going to do this build, which isn't going to take too long. And then I'm going to move on to a stitched micro clapped and fralian kind of deal. So I figured if I had all the micro clamptons done, that would be good. Because it's just a lot of sitting around. But that's, I haven't done a nine foot micro clapped in quite a while. You always see me do these four or five foot ones, right? I always do these four or five foot micro claptons just right here. I could get a, a very easy uh, four feet out of just my table here. But I set up the swivel on an angle, went all the way to the corner of the room set up the drill and it took about 20 minutes 20 minutes to do um i, I must have spent an hour micro clapping in today it took about 20 minutes to do nine foot of 36 44 36 44 stainless steel nine foot about 20 minutes to to clap in it just to make a micro clap in. and then i have one, two, three, four. I did four other micro claptons that probably took around 10 minutes each. So that's what I got. So I got 28 gauge here. And now I'm going to grab the micro clapton I need. So the micro clapton I have here, see, I just use these little pins when I pop it off the swivel. I use these little push pins. I put it where the swivel was and just stick them to my drywall here so this is 38 44 38 44 for this one all right and i'm just going to get this guy into the drill there it's still got hot glue on it from when i was micro clapping in and i'm just gonna straight clapton for now and i'm gonna force fuse in the other wire so 3844 just clapped in it and I hold here and just I don't let the clapton slip through my fingers because I'm afraid I'm gonna decor it if I do that like if I hold it here this this clapton is gonna push off the other side so I hold it here And I just ride up. My fingers just ride up to it. All right. I'll just come down again. like as it happens it's like a sweet spot for 44 with the camera you really got to be. Damn, I can't see. Oh, yeah, there's just a sweet spot. I'm running out of real estate on this wire. I can tell you that. Which is weird to me. Should be good. I'm 
actually just going to cut this off now because I want to make sure that I have enough wire when I force fuse that I don't run out of wire down here. But I cut it the same size and my Clapton's were the same size, I think. So then what I did was I took 36 stainless steel because 36 stainless steel is almost the same size as 38 with 44 on it. 38 a little smaller than 36. Then you put 44 over it. It's around the same size. It's still it's a little smaller, 36 still. So I'm going to take this 36, wrap it around by hand real quick. And then, oh, hopefully it's loose. It is loose. All right. I should have probably loosened it up a bit, but it's loose. All right. So then I'm going to take this 36 and force force it into the gaps of my clap that I have here already. So it's just in my drill right now. No tricks or nothing. And it's just going to force into there. As long as I go the same direction with the drill, it should just force its way in there. All right. And it's pretty easy to do this force fusing thing. See, it just goes in. It's just like Clapton and oh, that's a good shot there. There is that that thing that's really irking me. It's not wanting to come out. I think I got it. I'm not sure. All right. Oh, I'll say hi to everybody in a second too. All right. That's it. That's how I made the other one. That's how I made this one. And that's it for them. So now what I want to do is I want to twist them two together. So um, let me say what's up to everybody first. Seven participants. Awesome, YouTube. You're doing a great job. It's like not letting me go on a live chat. Wow, dude. I don't know what's up with that. everything. Just everything is fudged up. It's not giving me the chat at all. Yes. I'm live. What? Never mind. K 
can a mother? Oh, man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's so weird that it looks fine and it's doing this. It's all fucked up. All right, whatever, man. I'll wait until it comes back up, I guess. All right, so what's up, everybody? I'll get you in a second. I might have to contact you too, because it's it's getting ridiculous what's going on here. It, it, it's been a week now. It should be good. All right, it's in the drill. All right, both wires in the drill now. And now I'm going to make sure I get them... Uh, one's definitely longer than the other one. I'm going to get them down here. I'm going to pull them both tight. I'm going to try to get them both the same pressure. We don't want to have one. We don't want to be holding one tighter than the other when we're twisting this. We want them to be the same. I'm going to make sure they're the same. I think they are. You want to come back or what? All right, he's back. Okay. So we're just going to leave him alone for a second while we twist this. I'm just going to twist forward. I got both of them here. I'm going to twist forward. I'm going to twist to damn near the max. Okay. I think I like how this looks. So now I'm going to put the drill in reverse and just do a couple rotations back just to get some of the recoil out of it. I'm going to pinch down here very tightly. Pinch, let go, and it's going to want to spin. Watch. Watch this right here. Slowly letting it spin out. Boom. If you don't do it slow, you're going to get these wrinkles. It's going to be too much pressure. And it's going to it's going to kind of click and it's going to I'm going to leave that on. I want to center this in the drill a little bit better and I want to cut off like there's like hot glue sticking out and stuff. So I got this twisted wire here. It's definitely looking a little different than I imagined. That's not a bad thing. All right. So now I want to get it back into the drill. Centered. And 
and then I have extra like crap down here. I'm going to use that extra crap to get it onto the swivel. All right. Get this extra crap onto the swivel. And just loop it around. Wrap it around itself. Make sure it's on the swivel nice and good. So I don't like pop it all for anything. And we're going to helix this with a Clapton. And we'll see what it looks like after that because I want to double helix it after that. It's definitely looking a little different than I imagined. But I think that the helix is going to, it's going to make it look even better. So next step is I have 3642 micro Clapton. I want to helix it with a micro Clapton. All right, so I have 3642 micro Clapton. So let me get that. Same thing, I have it all up here. I marked it with a piece of uh, a piece of like labeling. So I know it's 3642 since I did so many different micro Claptons today. I made sure I marked them and hung them up right away. So I'm going to stick the loop right onto one of these things poking out of the drill just to lock it in. And you know what? I'm going to do it again to this one so that hot glue doesn't go on my build. Whoa. We're going to slow down this drill. All right. Now, let's see if it will let me get chat now. Okay, let's do live chat, please. Looks like it's going to let me. So I got the, it on slow. Now, to helix something, you got to go the same. Yeah, you, you have to put the drill on the same setting, which is forward, as you did the twisting. You can't do it in reverse. It won't work. So we're going to do it in the, in the forward, just like we did the twist. Now. I got a participants list. I don't think this is everybody. Bones the Skater, what's up? Coil Proby, what's up? Dave Flowers, what's going on? Kim Dixon, hey Kim, great job on the show today. Mr. Pebbles here, Raven Shadow Vapes, what's up? Rodrigo, Straight Drippin', V-Dog, Westshire, West Yorkshire Vapor, what's up? Tokes is here. There's so many other people here than that. And it literally just gave me 10 names. What's up, everybody? Anybody that's watching that's not in chat, what's going on? Um, Rodrigo. All right. So now a helix is basically just going into the gaps of the twist. Okay. It's not really, it's not hard to do it really at all, but it looks cool as hell. It looks as cool as all get out. Now, this twisted wire, it looks. It looks cluttered now, and I think this is going to break it up. I think this is going to break up what looks cluttered about it. So we're going to see. And if you have two wires twisted together, then you're going to have two gaps. If you have three wires twisted together, you're going to have three gaps. So you do want to get this helix in there nice and good. So I like to hold good tension on it and just make sure... I'm falling right into there. This wire is looking much crazier than I imagined. And I think it's because the 36 is smaller than the micro Clapton it's next to. Trying to get good lighting on this. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's got to move my chat so I can see. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh.
Yes, if anybody gets a message from the Omi Mark, do not open that link. Somebody hacked the account and is trying to hack more people's account. Do not open. All right. Just making sure I'm holding this as tight as I can without messing up the clapton on the micro clapton I'm using Helix because my hands are on it now, you know, and I don't want to decor it like I was talking about earlier. Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Coral Class is on Tuesdays. Yeah, two wires twisted together would be two helixes. I'm going to need to do another helix. Yeah, two wires is two helixes. Three wires is three helixes. Four wires is four helixes. So on and so forth. So I'm going to have to do one more after this. But then I'm going to do a double helix. I'm going to helix the helixes. Oh. So it looks like you see that Clapton? It doesn't look good there, but I'm actually in the middle of my build anyway. See that? Looks like somewhere when I was claptoning, it um, messed up a bit. And I made much more micro clapton for this helix than I need it. That's for sure. But I think I did anyway. All right, so I, I'm at the end. I wrapped it around a couple more times. I'm going to cut it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it back into the drill again. All right. And then I want to make sure that I get into the other gap now. Now, it will just follow down. As soon as I get into that other gap, that should be fine. So you see the other wire on the bottoms coming out. What I want to do is just guide it into the other. Actually, I want to wrap it around like twice so it, it locks in. and guide it into the other gap. And we're gonna get that. All right. It's all stainless steel. <clears throat> all right. So let me just get this done because I do have another build that I'm planning on doing. So I don't want to waste a whole two hours on this one. But yeah, if it was different alloys, it would color up differently. 
but stainless steel is going to color, color up pretty crazy too. All right, so that's done, and I still have like a foot of wire left. So that was a four foot piece. Uh, this is more than I have like 16 inches of a micro clapton still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this back on the wall with the sticker that it had. So I remember what kind of micro clapton that is. And if I need it at any point, at any, at any time, any point, any time, same thing. Um, All right, now, I was trying to think of what wire am I going to use the helixes with. And at first, I was thinking something. You can't do something too small because it's going to fall in and you're not going to see it. But you also don't want to do something too big because then you're going to hide your all your micro claptons. So I think I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. I think I'm going to do 38. So I don't have to settle on. I don't have to settle on 38. I can actually Clapton a bit, look at it, or I'm sorry, this isn't a Clapton. I could Helix it a bit, look at it, see if I like it, see if I want to go bigger, if I want to go smaller, and go from there. So I'm just going to Helix a bit, all right, let me go close up again. I'm going to just Helix a little bit and see if I like the way it looks in the camera. All right. So here comes just plain old 38 stainless steel. Just boring ass 38. Um, I'm going 36. I think it looks too small. Looks too small. I don't like it. Uh, you know... It's hard to tell if I like it or not. I'm very indecisive. Mm, I think it's too small. Let me see what 36 looks like, and then I'll make my decision after I see it. So I just took it off. Very easy to take off. And I'm going to get to 36. I think I'm going to like 36 better. We'll see. Yeah, I like this much better. So now I'm just going to go down this. Now I'm going to have to do this four times. I'm going to have to I'm going to go on each on each helix on each side of each helix, okay? So I got it on this side of this helix. I'm going to get it on the other side of that helix and then I'm going to do the one below it. So there's going to be four of these I got to do. But if you're smart enough, it will just ride down if you keep that angle. It's actually... Very simple to do. I could do this very quickly. There's that messed up stuff there, but that's okay. It's sort of in the middle. Now, when I'm looking at this with my, I don't need this camera to see. When I'm looking at it with my naked eye, I could see the angle I need. All right. And I'm just going to lock it in by clapping it a couple times over here. Then I'm going to bring it back down. And I could pick any gap I want. You don't have to do it in any kind of order. I could pick whatever one I want. I'm going to try to go on top of the one I just did. So same wire on the other side. All right. I 
think I got it. Yeah, I got it. You see, I went on the same. You'll see. Just look at it. Just fucking look at it. Let me cut this wire off. It's distracting. All right. Look at that. Just look at it. Whoa, I messed up here. Look at I didn't hold the right angle. And it went over top. So I'm just going to back up. Get the angle right again. just got to do you see i got i got this done i mean i wouldn't have to do it this looks pretty fucking cool how it is actually so i wouldn't really have to do okay i did that one i wouldn't have to do this back one you could leave it like this if you want it but i want to do it i want to do full double helix micro clap and jump and it's going to make it look a lot different, I think. I think it's going to make it look like a crazy wire when I'm done. It's a little, like, I think most people, when they first look at it, are going to be like, what the hell is that even? You know? It looks like a hot mess, but a hot mess. Like, yo, that's a hot, that's a dope, that's fat, P-H-A-T. That's, that's a hot mess, yo. Yo, that shit lit, fam. Like that. All right. What's up, crazy coil? Straight dripping out. I don't know if I said how to use saturation stations here. What is going on? Going in the right one. Just want to make sure. Yep. One more, and I'll be done with it. And I don't think I'm gonna wrap this up just yet because I'm actually not sure what I'm doing with this wire yet. I don't know if I'm just gonna wrap it up coil form or maybe we need to use it at some point for something. I wanna stop worrying about um, wrapping coils up immediately because sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I saved that thing because then maybe I do something later and I'm like, oh, this could use, this could use a, a twisted helix. Look at that. I went in the wrong spot. But you could, if you wanted to, you could even helix these with like some 46 gauge or something like that. 
you could keep going with this. So this is the final one. Try to get a good view with it. Thank you for all the compliments in chat too. I'm trying to get a good view while this happens. Just look at it. All right. I'll just finish her up. locked them all in down here as I went so I think the only other thing I want to do before I like cut this free from the drill is I'm gonna get some 40 gauge and I'm just gonna lock it in down here because these are all loose here you know I, I kind of just did this every time so when I cut it they're really gonna be loose because I didn't really do anything to secure them in I just kept shoving them in the drill like look at this mess you see? So once I cut that, the things that were holding the ends in will not be there anymore. So I'm literally just going to clap it over this with 40 gauge. Messy. It's just going to be messy, but it's going to lock them all in. I'll show you what it looks like. It kind of looks cool when you do this too. I'm just going to see the 40 gauge there. I could have also just hot glued it, you know. And that's it. Now it's all locked in down here. It's already locked in at the other side because I did that. As I went, I just kept clapping. You see, I just kept clapping and over, clapping and over. Let's get one more shot of this wire, and then we're going to move on to the next one. I'm not going to wrap this up yet. If I get done the other build and, you know, we want to wrap it up now, if not, I can save it for something else. We'll see. I just don't want to – I want to stop just wrapping shit up just because I want to wrap it up. I don't vape this crap. Usually this would actually be a very good vape, actually. But we'll see what happens with the other build. Like, if I have something already color up and install, then there's no sense in me doing two things. I don't think the other build's going to take as long because all the micro clapping is done. But this wire is looking pretty freaking dope. And I mean, obviously, I've been doing this wire for, what, like 40 minutes now? Something like that. But, I mean, there's also like a half an hour of clap thinning that went into this as well. Plus, I made a piece of the wire off camera. So, it may seem like, oh, it was a quick build. But, honestly, it took longer than just what you've seen here on this video so pretty cool we'll see how much i got of it so i could um just know what i got so it is it's eight exactly it's a little bigger but it's it's basically yeah it's eight inches exactly after i cut off the messes on the end it's eight inches so 
pretty cool wire. It feels very flimsy. It feels like it's going to be very springy when I wrap it, but it definitely has some cool design in it when you look at it just like this, which I don't know if you can see because now the camera's messing up. All right. Pretty cool. All right, that one's done. So just to give you an idea how big the, the this is the this is the Mohawk alien I did off camera, the stitched Mohawk. And this is that twisted wire. That's how big the stitched Mohawk was. Pretty pretty long, nice piece of stitched Mohawk. It's about three coils, maybe four if I want it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right, now, the reason I tried that stitch daily, and I just wanted to practice, because, listen, man, I'm about to do a stitch daily with 3644. I got about nine feet of it. 3644, one long piece, and I'm going to stitch it with a five-foot piece of 0.2 ribbon in 46 point two ribbon in 46 and it stayed pretty damn straight my swivel setup right now is very much so on point it's been doing a lot of good work uh between the aliens we did this week um all that stuff and uh just doing all them micro claptons and then everything it's been really holding up and that's and remember this swivel is an old one that i just flipped over so, Jason Campbell, what's up? Slave to the Inks here. So, um, I, I was thinking, like, what am I going to put inside of this Stitch Alien? And I was going to clap in a frame staple, or I was going to clap in just the staple parts of a frame staple and put frames on it and use that. But I don't think we're going to see the inside. I think that this wire is going to be so big, and if I could get a nice, tight, stitched alien on it, I think that um, clattening underneath of it is just worthless. I just don't think it's it's needed at all. So I'm not going to clap it underneath. I'm just going to make a plain old frame staple out of... This is the question. What am I going to make it out of? I should probably do 0.4. Listen, if I can't find the 0.4 quick enough, I'm going to just do it in. Yeah, I can't find my point four at the moment, so we're just doing point three ribbon with twenty eight gauge frames. Do I have point four even? I don't know. I think I do. I think I have stainless steel point four somewhere. But I'm not. I'm not really into uh, looking for wire today, even though I'm looking for it right now. But I'm not into that. That's not what I want to do. My swivels are double sided. So they're the same on both sides. Oh, no, they're not the same on both sides. That might be true. It might be true. This isn't the same. It does have like a taper 
at the one end, which is kind of funny because I, I snipped off. That, that may be true. That actually may be true. They should probably work either way, but that may be true. I'm not positive. I've always just put it on however and just flipped it over later when it gets old. But this one's working better than the other one was. So who knows? Who the fuck knows? All right. I'm going to take this point three ribbon and I'm going to get out. This is just a weird thing because the alien's going to be so big because it's up two microclaptons. I feel like I should do. Oh, actually, no. Let me think of this. What am I going to use for the decor? I'm going to use 24 for the decor. It's going to be pretty big. 24? 25. Let's think. 24, 25. So eight pieces of eight pieces of 0.3 ribbon and 28 gauge for a fralian. I usually decor 25. For this, I'm gonna have a Clapton ribbon. I'm gonna decor 24. I'm gonna do eight ply ribbon. Eight ply ribbon. Eight ply 0.3. So I just want to get out my tape measure. I'm gonna get out like I'm going to get out more than I need because I don't know how far that nine feet is going to get me with a stitch in it. It's probably going to go pretty far because it's such a big wire. It's not like we're, we're alien with 38 that's nice and tight together. No, we're alienning. I hate that word. Alienning. Alienning. We're going to alien with 36 44 stitched with 0.246. That's going to be a husky little fuse. It's going to be a husky little fuse. That's going to be a, a jumbo shrimp fuse. Oxymoron. So I'm going to get out um about 18 inches of ribbon yeah 18 inches of ribbon so that i have nine at the end where's my scissors i just had one. Oh, here they are. so i want to get out four pieces here Four. So that's two of them. And then here's three of them. And here's four of them. And that's at about, it's probably at about 20 inches. I think I got it at. I'll see. I got that. Put this back. I'm done with the point three. Okay. And how much did I get out? Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. I thought it was 18 or 20, but it's actually the smallest one. The biggest one's 27 inches. The smallest one's 24. So I'm going to have like 12 inches to play with here. So it's time to stack this up. 
I'm going to cut all these the same size. Any kind of bends in the one, I'm going to cut out. So now they're all the same size. I'm going to pinch them together in opposite directions, up and down, side to side. And that should stack them together just like four pieces of paper that are really long. And then I'm just going to bring them together like so. And I've got my loops. Don't really matter which way they go. Just put my fingers in between. And then pull some pressure down. And I have some water right here. I'm going to pinch it in. I mean, I've stacked how many pieces of ribbon on this channel? So I'm going to do this. And Close it in, and then I'm going to get that 40 gauge I was playing with, and I'm going to take the end of this 40 gauge, I'm going to wrap it around this ribbon stack here, like that. Just like that. And I'm actually going to hot glue it now because I didn't really like how I wrapped that up. Hot glue. Reheat it so it kind of melts in there. So. This is what I got here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see because the computer, once again. I think you could see it. Okay. And now I'm going to pinch that loop, run my fingers down a couple times, get some water on my fingers, run it down. Run it down. What's up, Daytime Frank? Daytime Frank's on at 9 tonight. Right. Bring my fingers down a bit. I'm going to take the 40 again and wrap this up like this. I'm going to leave a little bit of the 40 gauge on, but cut it off of the spool. So I got a little bit of 40 gauge just hanging there. And I'm going to pinch the loop, pinch that 40 gauge, and ride it all the way down to the end. And once I get down to the end, I'm going to take the excess 40 gauge that I had left on there and I'm going to wrap it some more just to get it all nice and tight down here make sure everything's good and then I'm going to put the loop onto the swivel Pull it tight away from the swivel so that I got a nice ribbon stack. Nice and tight. Heat up my hot glue. Dab it on that 40 gauge. Let it dry. God. What's up, Ox? I'm just calling you Ox. If 
think the air has to go back on. It does. All right. Now, frames. I'm going to take 28 gauge and get out the two feet of it basically. Stretch it straight. Cut it. Put that away. Fold it in half like so. I'm a little skeptical of how big this ring staple is going to be, actually. I hope it's wide enough. It should be fine. All right. I've got the 28 over the ribbon stack loop. I'm going to wrap this up at 40. neat as I can, as tight as I can, together, so I'm wrapping it around 20 to 25 times, and right there it should be super tight, okay, can't do that. Pinch and slide. Pulling tight so that the frames are tight as the ribbon stack. I'm gonna I'm very interested to see how this is gonna work because this ribbon stack and frames isn't the biggest. my frames tight as the hot glue dries not too tight you don't want it tighter than the ribbon because then it's going to cause problems while we're fusing we want to pull them all the same tension let that dry
seems like I got a twist in this wire, which is weird, but whatever. I haven't even started twisting it yet. All right. Now, the only other thing I want to do is I want to get a slot on this guy. I have some point four or point three ribbon here from the cutoff. I'm just going to take it. Wrap it around three times, pinch, and then wrap it around two times. There it is. All right. So, what did this is? I'll say. Typical. 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 Typical racial slur. I'm not surprised, motherfucker. Do that or your mom. Fag. Shut up. Do, let's do um what's up Stu? I'm doing a micro clapton stitched fralian. Micro clapton stitched fralian. So, I got my frame staple together. Now I need to take my big Clapton, and I need to take 24 gauge. So I got some, 20, oh, this is some long 24. I'm going to get a smaller piece. Eh, you know what? No. Mm, I don't really want it that long. Well, blah, 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 blah. what the fuck am I doing? I'll just use this one. Let's move this back for a sec. Like that. And then I'm going to bring Mr. Drill over. on my drill. Stretch it 
watch them out. Now, I'm going to... I can't see where it's focused right now. But what I'm going to do... What is this? Oh, yeah. What I'm going to do... Is... I'm about to hook one of these bitches up. I don't know how to fuck you open it, though. I don't know how you fill these things. I should have fucking paid attention. On. Oh! It's a twist. It's a buckle! It's a twist, isn't it? No, it's not. It's. Is it a push? How do you fill this thing up? Oh, you know what? Wait. How do you fill this up? Oh. That's how you fill it up. You twist the thing off. Okay. This is shit. Hold on a second. I really want to try this thing. Let me just Josh May, what's up? I definitely just did that. You, I need that. Oh my God. No. Apparently, these will take a good amount of fills, but what Batman was saying, talking out with the Batman was saying that he only got like four fills on it or something like that. I think they, they say you get like 15 fills or something, which you don't get that on even good tags, so I don't know how that would happen, but. Disposable tank. Look at that. So, I'm going to let that sit because I really don't want to be vaping on burnt cotton. It looks like the cotton's not very good. It, it just feels weird. What, how many watts are you allowed to do this up to? Forty to ninety. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a couple minutes. Make sure that it fills up. So disposable tank. I paid um, fifteen bucks for three of them. 
That wouldn't be a bad, if they were good, that's not a bad price. Um, but it's Canthal. It's freaking Canthal mesh, which it already is going to tell me that I'm not going to like it as much. I just don't dig Canthal. And this is the type it is. The Turbo Mesh by Vape Mons. You get three of them in there. So we're going to see. You could get an RDA for cheaper, that's true. But then you have to buy the wire and the cotton. You're still going to save money. Yeah, if you get into a pinch, if I'm at work and I'm like, oh, man. My RDA tastes like crap. I didn't re-wick it. You know? All right. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. I need... I need... Um, this clap. So once again, this is a nine-foot Clapton that is 36 and 44 and i'm just i'm making a decor because i'm doing alien so i'm putting it over 24 gauge um man this is a fast drill why did i do this yeah i don't want to use this drill for this no i don't want to mess up this nine foot clapton that took me 20 minutes to do when it takes you 20 minutes to do a clapton you're going to want to not mess it up. So I'm going to put my slightly slower drill on. And I'm going to start slow. Alright, that's the beginning. Speed up. I don't even know if you can see me. If you can't, you will in a second. Nine feet. Should get me a good amount. Of decor. Reached the end. It did the recoil thing. It's basically ready to decor, but I'm going to reverse it a bit. And that, maybe it wasn't, I think it was actually more like eight feet. Because I got about 10 inches of decor, which, you know what? It was eight and a half feet, I think. Eight and a half feet. I could check right now. One sec. Probably around eight feet. It's probably eight feet. Damn. All right. Well, I got ten inches of decor, which should still be plenty enough for what I'm doing. So this is what I got, all decored off. Oh 
little mistake there. Now, well, changing the airflow on this is impossible. Can you even change it? You can't change it. No, you can't change the airflow. I thought you could. I guess you can't. Right? Right. Yeah, you can't. I'm letting that sit for a while because I don't know what's going to happen with that thing. I ain't trying to get no burn hit. Because uh, fogging out with the Batman was talk talking about um, there was there was there was two out of four. It should be for the set, Dave, but I'm not sure. I'm going to see. The thing is, is I'm also stitching it, so that's going to make it go even further. Um, so it should get a set, but 10 inches usually doesn't get a set, but since it's a micro clap, then it should with a stitch. So kind of depends what you're doing. We're going to see. So, I got this decor, which I bought, learning experience, whatever. I'm going to get this micro clapton, which is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 ribbon in 34, wait, no, 0 0.2 ribbon in 46. And I'm going to cut it clean because I'm going to be stitching with this. So I don't really want anything sticking out or bent or anything like that. But there is some naked ribbon on the end of this. This is four feet. So let's say I did eight foot of this one and I did four feet of this one. And I'm just going to... It's very easy actually to stitch because 24 gauge... And I'm going to put this ribbon through this decor here until it comes out the end. There it is. And there's, once again, the end is naked ribbon. So I'm going to pull that out all the way. Until I see Clapton, there it is. I'm going to stretch the alien a bit over the ribbon. Like that. Right. And then I'm going to Fold. What's up, Ann? Fold. Oh, 
hold this guy over here like this. Wrap the naked ribbon around it a bit. I just need to get these two together good. Now, once again, I say this all the time when I do aliens that are exotic, that aren't just regular aliens. I want to understretch this. I can always stretch it more. So I want to understretch it so that I don't mess it up. And if it needs to be stretched more, I could stretch it more. No big deal. But if it needs to be stretched less, that's impossible. Same thing with cutting wood at work. If anybody ever cut wood or anything, really. I guess if you're a baker and you cut loaves of bread, it would be the same thing, I guess. I don't even know if that happens. Probably got a machine that does it. But anyway, you could always take some off. You can't add any. I don't have a wire stretcher, so there it is. That's the decor over the ribbon. Here it is as a whole, about four feet long. And I'm going to clamp this end that I just tied together and everything. I'm going to clamp that to the table. I'm going to grab the point two ribbon with my needle nose is at the end. And I'm going to stretch the decor over it always does this. I'm going to stretch it over. What just happened? It just came out of the clamp for whatever reason, which is weird. I'm always stretching like 38 in this clamp and nothing happens. It stays in. This is a bigger wire. Take it and stretch it over to what I think is going to be good. Don't overstretch. And I'm like at the end of this ribbon. Yeah, I'm at the end of the ribbon. That's okay. Just whatever I get, I get. If I get a single coil, I get a single coil. If I get a dual, I get a dual. It is what it is. If I get one big single coil, I could do something with that. I love lamp. I'm extremely excited for UFC tonight, in case anybody didn't notice. I am on the edge of my fucking seat. I'm actually on the edge of my fucking seat. Look at it. All day. All day on the edge of my seat, dude. I'm surprised my ass hasn't busted by now. I'm surprised I didn't fall right on my ass. She. She. I hate this fucking chat. I can't stand the people here. What's up, Joshua? Alex Fried Eggs is here. Dave Flowers, I don't know. I said hi to you. What's going on, everybody? Okay. Get the drill and put it in all, and slow now. Put the drill in reverse because I did this alien in the forward. And let's see if all my work paid off. Put this on here. Make sure it's centered. And the drill. Clamp down. What's up, Julie? Like that. And then... I can't stand y'all fat asses. Anybody ever listen to Kid Chris? If anybody's in Cincinnati, 
or if they were in Philadelphia a long time ago. All right, Frank. All right, I guess there ain't nothing left to do but to do it. Ain't no not ain't no to it but to do it. I'm so scared right now. So scared. wire by wrapping it around that so I'm going to do my best to save wire have to just reheat this hot glue here That's my stretch. All right. I wrapped it around the wrong way. Damn it. I always do that to myself. I wrapped this in the forward. I should have wrapped it in the reverse because now it's just going to keep spinning. Hold on a second. I need to check on something. Sorry about that. Had to check on something. Good. Okay. We're doing this now. You know what? Let's fucking do it. So what ohm is this supposed to be? Oh, first of all, hold on a second. We ain't doing that. Oh, these batteries are dead? Say what? I'm putting it at 50 watts because it says 40 to 70. I got it at 46 watts. And the ohms are 0.18. Is that what they're supposed to be? Bottle of Oh, there they are. 40 to 90. Ooh. 0.15 it's supposed to be. 0.16 it's saying. All right. Dude, I'll wait until the review. I'll have to play with I'll have to sit with it for a little bit. 73 watts. It could take 73 for sure. It's not big. It's not. It's can fall for sure.
I like 73. It's keeping up wicking right now. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Now I'm all nicotined up. All right, it wants the mohawk because it's not stretched enough. So, time to stretch it more. It's making my frame staple collapse. <clears throat> this is why I kind of was thinking point four, but it probably would have made that collapse just as much, if not more. I don't know. I need something stronger to hold this. The stitch Looks a little loose right here. I'd enjoy this if Wasn't maybe I should have clapped in the middle. Jeez, wow, it's just so strong. The cl the alien is just so strong that it wants to. Man, I don't want to keep going with this if this is what's going to happen because I'm going to waste this whole Clapton if I do. I know what I want to do. I should have. I was thinking about doing this and I didn't do it. So give me a second. I'm going to one sec. I'm going to take some 40 gauge and I'm going to clap in this end real quick so that my stape already is flat before I go on there. So I'm going to take this 40 gauge and just make a frame staple right here with the 40 gauge. Just get a nice tight wrap on it to start just in the beginning. Put that on two.
So now I got like a good start, you know? What's up, Drew? Got a good start to it with the 40 gauge. So now my staple's flat. So if anything happens after that, it, I may have to really reevaluate what's going on. I don't want to get no coil. I can tell you that right now. Don't want to get zero coil. I'd like to at least get one coil. I should be able to get two. I definitely don't want to get none. That is like not even an option right now. At this moment. think I want to put a weight on this stitch back here because so sometimes with a stitch right the stitch will get loose and if the stitch gets loose it causes problems with everything so what I'm going to do this is good weight I'm going to take this RDA here this ghoul I'm going to take the cap off. I'm going to put, I got the ribbon down here on the end. I'm going to put the ribbon inside of the ghoul, like right near the O-rings. And then I'm going to put the cap on, or no, I'll put the ribbon in the cap. And then put the deck in the cap. It's just on the stitch, not on the alien. All right. So I got to wait on it. It's not even that I taste canthal. I taste the difference in flavor. I just did that backwards. Oh my God. Wow. Fucking up. I don't think this weight's working out. We're taking that off. All right, it's, the problem is, is I was so understretched that I have to pull back more. So I think I'm going to get it now. Mm. 
Putting a lot of tension because I understretched it. Man, and then I got this messed up fucking ribbon. This thing's gonna need a clean and it's picking up a lot of dust. So I got a coil, but the end of my stitch is coming soon. The alien's definitely bigger than the stitch. I should have made the stitch longer. Hopefully it goes without saying that I got my one coil. I think I got to pay attention to the amount of pressure I'm putting on this. I think the beginning Clapton's were messed up and I think this is going to be the good stuff here.
it's definitely making these weird shapes every once in a while. Like you could see it here. It's just different. It's weird. I think the ribbon's flipping over. And I'm almost getting a razorback effect in some parts, but not in all parts. All right, here's the end of the stitch. Watch what happens. All right, that's the end. And now if I just want to continue from my lead, I could just continue from my lead. Let me see how much more of a stitch I need it just so I know from now on with that eight foot, I should make, wow, I was damn near two foot off. For an eight foot clap, and I should have made a six foot stitch. Wow. I was way off. Would have been enough for two coils it would have definitely would have i'll show you damn there looks like i'm going to have two different coils right now No, I'm not going to need to do a hybrid. This is just the end. I'm at the end of the wire. I'm surprised I got this much. Oops. The ribbon just crumpled up there. show you what I got here yeah there's lots of weird shapes in this in this wire I think it's because I shouldn't have did ribbon stitch and not paid attention to how flat it was so remember I messed up in the beginning right but look I have five inches of good stitched and then three and a half damn near three inches of regular alien so it would have got eight inch. It would have been fine. Eight inches I would have got if I would have did eight, eight and a half feet of micro Clapton and six feet of stitch. Um, maybe we could try again next week. I don't know. But until then, we're using this. Now, what the hell do I want to do with this? I didn't think it this far through. I'm going to cut that off of there i it looks like i got a, a coil just alien here here cut that off there cut this off here yeah it's got a lot of weird shapes in it it's very very weird it's like i didn't hold it tight enough in some areas but it still looks cool 
it's just to the naked eye, I see differences in the wire. You can see it right here, right where I'm showing you. See this tight stitched alien right there? Now watch when I go up. You see how it got bigger all of a sudden? All right. Now. Now. Let me do I got this stitched mohawk here. The thing is, it's not a very big stitched mohawk, but it is a stitched mohawk nonetheless. Um, all right, Ian. So, Uh, I wanted to put this in a flat line RDA. Which I can. That's fine. My only issue is um let me see what this does i'm flattening it because i'm fucking crazy i want to see if it makes it look a little more uniform which it kind of does Got some caps in my micro clapton in places. Man, I mean, just a regular coil would look cool, but it's pretty big. Thank you, Jason Campbell. I'm about to just wrap it around a 3.5 and install it right in the center of the... I have that wire for the death trap, too. I could just do that wire in the death trap, but I don't know what I would put this in anyway. I mean, the death trap... Did I just say the death trap? Four. The flat line, the death trap... Let's think. Let's think about it. What would be cool? I could just do... 
three five, and if I want to parallel it with something, I could. I was thinking about wrapping the 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 mohawk up, and then wrapping that on top of it. But I don't think the mohawk's big enough. I don't think that you're gonna see the mohawk if I do that. Even you might. I guess I guess it's worth taking a risk. All right, I'm gonna take this mohawk and wrap it up and see what it looks like on a three-five. And it can be a spaced wrap, not too spaced. I could always space it later as well. Just make sure as I wrap this mohawk, I'm twisting so that it falls flat onto the bit. Oh wow, this is really twisted. It's okay. Just untwist it before we wrap. got to take your time wrapping these if they're super twisted. Just untwist it before it goes around. Well, that fucked up. That definitely fucked up. Did it? Yeah, it's fucked up. I'm cutting that off. I think I know why it fucked up. Let me try that again. No hooks, all sorts of fucked up. I did this alien in the fucking reverse of what I always do. That's freaking why. That's not going to work. Woo, I got one more shot. Wow. I just really fucked up that whole freaking thing. For some reason, I did this mohawk different than I do all aliens and whatever way you do a mohawk the final alien you got to wrap in the reverse so usually I do my aliens in reverse is this the same is this the same thing I think I'm doing the same thing Is this 
the same or different? Different. This is good. Well, did somebody say that? I don't know how anybody would know that. I did this all off camera. Whatever. Whatever, dude. So stitched mohawk. All right, that I did off camera earlier. I showed in the beginning of the show. And now we're gonna see, I, I wanna see what this looks like first. I wanted to take this, and basically parallel wrap it, but kind of on top of Mohawk. It's gonna squeeze it. Yeah, it's gonna squeeze. This is gonna be cool. Best build ever, probably. Yeah, for sure. Best build ever. Get ready to shit your pants. This is way too big, though. <laughs> this is a huge. I did way too many wraps. I'm about to roll with it. I'm about to say, you know what? We're doing it. This is what it looks like so far. This is basically what I'm going to end up with. so many things I could put in. I'm just sick of putting everything in the fucking mask already. When's Twisted Messes coming out with the 30 millimeter, dude? I fucking need that shit. Fuck. I'm going to try the six rep. It's like five right now. I'm, I'm, let me see what it looks like after I do this rep. It'll fit. Will it fit? Looks like it'll fit. What's the top look like, though? It does fit. 
does the top look like? I'll make sure there's no mistakes in it before I install it. Yeah, see that last wrap looks pretty fucked up. Yeah, that last no, nope, we're doing five. I don't want to bite my nose off to spite my face. What does this look like down here? I want to see what the best looking wire is. Where where it looks the best at? Does it look the best here? Meh. There's definitely mistakes in the claptoning. Definitely mistakes. All right. So I got a five wrap. The the Mohawk is a six wrap. The micro Clapton jam is a five wrap. All right, it's a big boy. He's a bigger boy. He's a bigger boy. Boy. He's a bigger boy. Can you cut? Oh, it doesn't cut. This wire doesn't cut. Yep. Oh, it cuts. My bad. Sometimes wire just don't cut. Hold on. Stuck in my hair. Hold on. Killer. Okay. All right. What the hell is this? I'm going to wrap these leads together with some point two ribbon just so they stay together until I get them situated. Uh, um. So this is a good thing to do just to get yourself situated. It's just wrap up the leads to, for a parallel wrap coil. You know, this is a parallel coil. It's two coils in one. So what I did was I wrapped the leads together there. And I actually should probably wrap them together a little higher. That's a little low. We're going to see if the flat line can take it. We're all saying they could take it. I'm not sure if we can. He might. He just might. He just might surprise us tonight. Gee. Gee, boy. Gee, boy. These guys are stupid. These guys say some stupid shit. You need to grow up. Is what you need to do. You need to find yourself a fucking job. That's what you need. I'm wrapping it a little higher. There's really something wrong with these guys. I told you, just fucking look at it. And what did you do? You sat there and talked, and now you want to act all surprised. All surprised. I'm trying to tell you that I did the micro clappings before the video so we could have a build like this. I should have called this video, You're Welcome. That's what I should have called it. You're fucking welcome. All the sacrifices I make. I don't own the goddamn electric company. I'm scared. Oh, I hope I didn't cut them too short. <laughs> I 
focus. It's not really hard to see. It's humongous. Hogmongous. This is Hogmongous. Hogmongous. What is better than roses on my piano? I don't know. Pup Pup Man, what is up? Mr. Burbs here. Tulips on my organ. That's a good one. That's a good one. You're talking about a fucking dick. See? <laughs> what do you want? What do you want from me, man? You feed this to me, I'm, I'm going to give it right back, you know? Not bad. Not bad at all. That's it. I'm done making coils. I'm just going to do disposable tanks from now on. Disposable tank reviews. I'm going to show you how you fucking twist them onto your RDA and then throw them out. That's going in the review. That ain't bad. That for consequence is not tasting bad at all in there. Please don't motherfuck me. This is how I take my I take out my wick with style. I go. Until I unlock my mods. Why are you taking off, Master Verb? You should be working. You should be working hard. It's keeping up wicked, man. I don't know, man. I ain't vaping it, and I'm not coloring it. So if you're waiting for me to color it and vape it, it ain't happening. That needs pictures, dude. It ain't happening, Captain. Low battery. Of course it is. This is my life. This is my life in a nutshell. Low battery is my life. Why wouldn't it be low battery? Oh, oh! That's a lot of water. Oh, that sealed. Right. I hope this works. It builds by tailing and could put like 20 fucking wires in here. And then I could put this in here, right? Squeaky clean. All right. What am I doing now? 
What if I just suffered from like? What if I suck? I bet you I would get more people watching if I had like dementia or something. What was I doing? Oh, where am I? That's not funny. It's a little funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what am I doing? Where am I? Where's my 40 gauge? <laughs> I already do that. That's why it's funny. That's some funny shit. Clamps is loose. Hmm. Maybe I do too much squeaky. Maybe I do too much squeaky. I don't know. to screw this down if the coil's on top. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even think of this. Oh, jeez. Fuck what? Yeah, what fuck what? Trying to get the wherewithal. I have no idea what that means when people say that. I'm just trying to get the wherewithal. What I'm doing here. Is that even what they say? It's probably not even what they say. Uh. Okay. So I'm going to have to push that down more. Because it's like just in. And that's not a good look. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to take this bad fucker here. And I'm going to push the lead down. Screw it in. And when I screw it in. The clamp will go down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah boy. <laughs> looking like that I'm looking a little silly right now but that's okay because i'm going to go the other clamp can you fucking focus i'm going to go to the other clamp i'm fucking push it man and i, I actually kind of like the angle i kind of like the aesthetics of the angle i kind of like the aesthetics of the angle here shut up just shut the fuck up stop using big words so stupid Trying to just get the wherewithal, the aesthetics of this, of the clamping system. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you guys are fucking stupid. You guys say some stupid shit. Just fucking look at it. That's all you gotta do is just come here to look at it. Is that too fucking hard to ask? 
just trying to get the wherewithal of the aesthetic of the fucking clamp system. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the wherewithal of the aesthetics of this apparatus. Oh my god. Just go in the hole. That is your hole. Maybe I have to bring the clamp up a little. Oh, it just popped. Oh my god. FML. FML. Funny mounting location. Damn it! Go up a little more. I should have just said, I like the angle. I'm going to keep it like that. But no. Nick wants a challenge. Fucking happy now? Fucking happy now, you fucking loser? Come on, get the fuck out of It's in, but it's not good enough for me. I need it really in there. Even though I'm not even vaping this thing, so the connection hardly matters. But the aesthetic of the apparatus and the wherewithal is what I really need. A smaller single coil would definitely be easy to put in here. I can tell you that. Uh, you got to realize I'm doing something that's pretty fucking crazy here i really like to get that pushed down a little more and you know what i think's holding me that fucking ribbon i think that damn ribbon is getting in my fucking way you just gotta talk to it <sighs> yes you see it yeah this looks better if you put this ribbon on here shut up leave the ribbon off Fucking cheater. <sighs> yeah, this fucking ribbon. Tighten it up and cut it if we can. Okay. I know what's going on here. What's going on? I know what's going on. My lighting sucks. My aperture's moving in and out. <laughs> oh my god. There it is. You can't see it, but it's there. Believe me. Now it's going to be too much light. Watch. All right, this is what we're going to do. Let's try again. Ready? Boom. Boom.
Now, I wouldn't dare put a macro lens on this. <laughs> You're going to see some fuck. You're going to see some serious shit. We ain't vaping it, Dave. We ain't fucking vaping it. We got to take pictures. That's what we do. God damn it. You know, I'd like to come in some of your bedrooms when you get done a fucking four-hour build and be like, okay, just vape it. You can be like, oh, I kind of want to take... No, just fucking vape it! Love to do that to use guys. I'm sorry, guys. I just flipped out a little bit there. I didn't fucking mean it. Please don't leave. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. Don't fucking leave me! People don't start beating the shit out of each other for another fucking... Oh, they're starting to beat the shit out of each other now! It is 8.15. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, let's do the math. I'm only kidding. Listen, you're going to see some fucked up shit. Just keep saying, Nick, that's awesome. That's the best quote I haven't fucking seen. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, there's spacing, and I'm going to blame that on... What am I going to blame the spacing of the Clapton on? We're going to blame that on Drew. Crazy Face McGee. That was his fault. Because when he came in the room, I wasn't paying attention. And I slipped. So that's Crazy Face McGee's issue there. Alright, so. Everybody can thank Drew. Thanks, Drew. And who the... And Drew. Crazy Face McGee. Who are you? Who are you, Ric Flair, coming out of retirement? Jesus. You can't get back on the team, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. It almost looks like a braid, right? It looks like a cilantro. A salam. Looks like a salami. does, doesn't it? It looks like a fucking braid. We ain't coloring it up! Can we take a picture of it like that? Huh? Jesus. What's the ohms, though? That's the question. In case you want to make one of these for freaking four hours and vape on it. What are you looking at? What are you looking at here? Oh, hold on. What are we looking at? Somebody guess that shit. Somebody guess it. Go ahead. Somebody guess it. All stainless steel? I'm trying to think how that's even possible. Let me tighten this a little more. This battery's pretty dead, though. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. So it's, it's like a single coil, but it's not. It's actually like a dual coil. So somebody did guess it. Somebody already guessed it. Somebody did guess it. I'm not going to say who yet, but somebody guessed it. 
but it is like a dual. So that's why right now what that ohms is telling me is the same as what this is telling me, and this battery is charged. And I would trust this Bible with my fucking life. I would trust it with my life. I swear, I swear, with my uncle's grave, that I would trust this Bible with my fucking life. So it was a little different on there than here. So somebody still did guess it. It's 0.11. It was saying 0.12 on there, but this is 0.11. You're at the state fair. She's my cherry pie. I don't know why State Fair reminds me of that song, but it does. Uh, okay. See my screen that's not on? Isn't that cool? It's point one one. I don't even know if you could see. Can you even see? Yep, you've seen it. You've seen it here first, folks. Man. you copied oh here we go here we go you know cam you're really pissing me off job guys everybody did a stellar job did you guys see the other wire i made it was awesome too <laughs> two awesome wires in one day gonna get me some chicken wings oh look at that i might really like ooh, i don't know Better to be pissed off than pissed on. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Man, this aperture keeps going in and out. Does that make you dizzy? Yeah. Safe to say I killed it today. I did all right, man. You know, I did all right for myself. You know, I did a bit of all right for myself. That's that good shit right there. See that? I wish I could get these off of this. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm out of here. There's people actually beating the shit out of each other as we sneak. Sneak. We're sneaking now. Okay. All right, Drew. I got them from the store. From the fucking store. I got them from the store. Do you want to see what packages they come in? Those are the mesh ones. Uh, crazy coils. Um, let me show you. Let me just show you something. I don't know if it says... These, this is the package of them. Try to figure it out. See? Why? They only have black ones? It, yeah, they only have black ones? I know I know. my buddy Mark only has the black tank. Um, it looks good on this one, though, right? Isn't that cool?
look up the E scribe so you can set the aperture. Now I'm special. You know, Kim. What's up, Chad? So, this is the show, man. I hope you enjoyed. It was fun, man. I think, man, I really wouldn't mind doing... Hmm, so, I was going to do... My, my original plan was to do the same thing with a double stitch going through. So now I'm thinking if I, I kind of want to try it again because I didn't really like how that ribbon sat in there and it, something was going on. My stitch wasn't long. I think if my stitch was long enough, that would have helped a lot. Um, oh, I got this too. I also made this. Shit. This will have to go in like a giveaway or something because this is cool. That, that fucker. Look at that, would you? Just look at it. Microclapton Fralian. All up in that ass. <laughs> um, Chad, I've been saying for two weeks, contact me. For two weeks. I just got out my last goddamn packages. My last packages. 30 packages. Chad, go hit me up now on Instagram. Okay? I apologize, but I have been saying it for two weeks. So, now I'm going to do anything wrong. I just got to stop doing giveaways. <laughs> um, Rod, Re yeah, okay, tomorrow all the receipts are going out. Alex Fried Eggs, dude, just everybody just text me. I can't have shit floating around. I need people to text message me because I feel some people think they're doing me a favor by holding out, and you kind of are. But also, today I went to the post office and thought that I had the latest packages. Not your fault, not at all. But just so you know where I'm at right now, if Alex Fried Eggs and Chad text me today it'll be out monday it's only two packages that's nothing compared to what i just did i'm getting awesome packages but dm me you don't even have to dm me just hold on you don't even have to dm if you're if i have your address you don't have to dm me Little book, big pen.
he tickled and shit out of himself. <laughs> oh my god, I Kim, what the fuck? <laughs> he tickled, he tickled and shit out of him. <laughs> He tickled and shit out of himself. That's actually hilarious. I'm going to get t-shirts made that say he tickled and shit out of himself. Oh, Chad Dodson is not getting a package now. <laughs> oh, man. I hope I have an Eagles hat. You're going to get a package, all right. It's going to say, it's going to have, I'm going to draw, I'm going to take time out to draw the most banging Eagles picture. And then it's going to say, you can, if you open this, that means you think the Eagles are awesome and the Cowboys suck. Yeah. I'll start today. Are you in, are you in Texas, Chad? Or are you just a Cowboys fan like everybody else? <laughs> oh, sick burn. We have people. I don't mind Cowboys fans at all. What I absolutely fucking hate is um, people that were born in Philadelphia and are, and are Cowboys fans. That is you. I've said this before. Born and raised in Dallas, and there you go. You should be a Dallas fan, exactly. If you were an Eagles fan, there would actually be something wrong with you. If you're born in a state and you root for not just another team, it's not like, oh, my dad was born in – fuck that. My dad was born in Cincinnati, so I love the Reds. He always raised me on the Reds. We always watch the Reds every night. That's fine. You can't. You can't like the direct enemy of the team because let's think of this. Your dad's a Cincinnati. Okay, let's just put it this way. Let's do the Cowboys thing. I know I live in Philadelphia and I'm a Cowboys fan, but my dad lived in Dallas and he just loved the Cowboys so much, even though he lived in Philly. If he liked the Cowboys so much and Dallas so much, why did he move the fuck out of there? Why do you do that, first of all? Second of all, did he feed you candy bars for dinner? Because it sounds like bad pairing. Because you live in Philadelphia. And this isn't even an opinion. You can't be that big of a Cowboys fan living in Philadelphia. It's actually impossible unless you're a troll. So, all of this. I just love the Emmett Smith so fucking much. Oh my God, Tony Romo is so fucking awesome. So I just gotta love him. Ugh. I know I lived in Philadelphia all my fucking life, and everything around me is fucking green and got eagles on it. But I just love fucking Dallas Cowboys so fucking much. And guess what? When the Eagles won the Super Bowl, you went to the parade. You fuck. So shut up. You got to fucking drink, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you fucking did. You're fucking welcome. And where were you when Dallas won the Super Bowl? You're sitting in Philly. You know, people need to raise their kids better. They need to raise their kids better. Because... That's not what you do to a kid. Yeah, let me make my kid a Cowboys fan and send them to a Philadelphia school. Nobody will fuck with them. Nah. If it's dress down day and you come to school in Philadelphia with... Now, listen. With a Cowboys jersey on? I'm not a bully. I never believed in it. But if you come to school with a Cowboys jersey on, I'm going to hit you with a spitball because you're 
I was about to say the F word. I was about to say, and not just fucking. I was about to say the bad one. Phony. You're a fucking phony. If you come to school in Philadelphia with a Cowboys jersey on, dress down day. I bet nobody knows what I mean by dress down. Does anybody know what I mean by dress down day? You would have to go to Catholic school to know that. So Catholic school, you got to wear uniforms, but you know, you're only paying what five thousand dollars a year to go to school anyway. And then on Fridays, it'd be like, yo, you give us five bucks, you can wear whatever you want. If you pay five dollars to wear a Cowboys jersey to school, yeah, I'm gonna get a straw, I'm gonna get a piece of paper, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get a straw, I'm gonna get a piece of paper. And I'm going to sit in class all day like this. Like that. Any other circumstance, that's not necessary. But you know what? I'm not even mad at you. I'm mad at your dad. And I want you to go home and cry with that Dale's jersey on in front of your dad so he knows what he's done. And then you guys could sit down at dinner and eat your fucking candy bars because he's a horrible parent. And that's about it. And that goes for any state. It's not just Philadelphia. It goes for any state. If you live in Dallas and you're an Eagles fan, you're an asshole. You're a fucking asshole. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. They take over the bar the entire weekend. Oh, you need to fuck them up. Say, what do you say to a Phillies fan that'll get them really mad? This is what you say to a Phillies fan that'll get you really mad. Say, that's why Pat Burrell left your town. Say that. Because Pat Burrell was the best fucking human being ever. I got a Pat Burrell story. We'll tell that another time. Ask me about the Pat Burrell story next time. We're going to get out of here now. That's a cliffhanger. So you come back later to hear the Pat Burrell story. Let's just say Pat Burrell did very good with the ladies in Philadelphia. Fucking spitball. All right, everybody, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to do tomorrow? Maybe I have subject matter for tomorrow morning. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I, I could imagine that I will come live tomorrow morning for a coffee talk. Maybe to talk about who won UFC stuff today, all that stuff. So maybe I'll have other stuff to talk about. I don't know. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, comment. If you feel inclined to support the channel, I have a Patreon, two, five, and $10 tiers. If not, don't feel any kind of way. It's not that uh, big of a deal at all um there's going to be a giveaway for patreon soon i basically have everything for it. i can i could use one more thing i could use one more thing for the giveaways but we'll figure it out um and i'm out smoking is dead vaping is the few no that was vaping with twisted funny hey you uh i can do that I can do vaping twisted 420. Smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is now. Rip trippers is a little hard. It's a little hard. I would need bigger glasses and bigger teeth.
But baby went to a step four twenty. I'll practice it tonight. I can do him. He's an easy one. He sounds like a Ninja Turtle. Good morning, YouTube. What is up, Twisted 420? Is at it again. <laughs> that was the first try. A little bit of practice. A little bit of water. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back. Twisted 420 is back at it again. <laughs> I got to go. Peace, everybody.